Okay. Right, here's our regular horizontal with the uh, peaked roof on it. We keep adding a few more upgrades every time I turn around. Uh, this one still has 32 frames in it. It's got a follow board. Uh, we're going to start uh, trying to come up with a combination where we can use a uh, queen excluder inside them. But uh, the regular horizontals have been moving pretty good. Still have the same uh, drawer set up, drip edges. We have two entrances on the back now that uh, are on the opposite side so you're not standing inside the beach flight pad. The one thing we've been getting is a lot of comments that all their uh, horizontals are filling up really fast. So I came up with this. This is a double deep horizontal hive. It still holds 32 frames. The frames are twice as deep. Each frame holds two deep foundations in it. Still takes up the same footprint. This is the size of one of their frames. And you know, I've gone through all the different companies and, and we purchased the three different colors of foundations that you can insert in there. I found every single one of them is a different size. So I had to, to kind of figure out what kind of setting and distance and cuts between the top and bottom one and the, and the bottom piece here to where they all these uh, different size foundations uh, would still fit. And I've come up pretty close, probably within a sixteenth of an inch. But the black ones I found usually are the bigger of the, of the three. But anyway, this, this one has the same features in it that the regular horizontal has. It has the three pull-out drawers, has three trays in it, just like a normal setup does for doing pest control treatment. Still has the, uh, the vented covers and regular solid covers. Each of the uh, covers covers up three frames. Now these are set up to where you can do several different uh, setups inside here. You can sit there and, and put some starter strips in here and just go with natural cut comb, you know, our natural comb. Uh, I mean, just whatever type of combination you want to you want to come up with. I've seen people put the uh, the skewers inside here. You can still do that with this. I've seen them do it with the wires. But all the frames are all exactly the same. I made a jig so everything comes out square. Now, with this piece right here, if you noticed here on the side, there's probably a 3 sixteenths difference between where this is and the side wall of your frame. When you get ready to set up your, your uh, frames to put inside your hive, a lot of people, when they put their starter strip there, they'll put some wax on there. You want to do the same thing right here on both sides of this centerpiece. So when the bees start building their comb down there, you hit that wax, they'll just keep right on going and go all the way to the bottom. Uh, my friend over in uh, Italy has got it set up like this. They're using a uh, deep and a medium combination. He says right up here between the top two to three inches, there's always a, a row or arch of honey. Then from here down to right about here is all solid brood. And then you might have some stores down below. He said every single frame throughout the whole setup until they get to the queen excluder and then it's nothing but solid honey. He says he's getting ungodly amounts of honey off his hive. So I just kind of extended mine out and made two deeps. Now what you can do also if you're trying to start up this, you can take from a nuke box and put just a regular a shallow, a medium, another deep and checkerboard them in between these frames. And that way you can set up your uh, you hive that way and get it started. Uh, and it's a whole bunch of different possibilities you can do with this. But uh, this is the first one that's going out. And I have one other one that's going for uh, testing. And we'll see how it's going. I got several people that's already ordered some of these. They get a little pricey, but it's, it's twice the amount of material that it takes to make one of the regular horizontals. All the features are still the same. A lot bigger frames. If you look here on the other back side here, you still got the dormer vents over here. The roof is still the same where you have the metal that goes from the center out and then you have a ridge cap cover that goes over the top of it. Two uh, entrances on either one on either end. Uh, 
again, there's a, there's, a, there's some things that you can do. See so your uh, brood patterns usually right around the area of your entrance. And after say three years, your your comb starts getting a little bit smaller and smaller. So you want to switch that out where you don't want to bother what's going on inside the hive. So what you'll do is close this entrance off, open up the other one down there. They'll reestablish a brood area down in there. They'll still be taking care of these on this end once they all hatch out. But then they'll move completely down there. Then you can come in here and switch out these frames that uh, has a lot smaller comb. So there's a lot of different tricks that you can do with these hives. They're really good at, at building up resources to uh, make starter hives or small nukes. Uh, I mean, there's so many different possibilities that I've, I've heard from all the friends that's already got some of these. They said their bees are just doing really good. So that's another reason they came up with the double deep. And it's heading out the doors, getting ready to be tested. And that's about it.